we're now holding not just the student athletes accountable through their eligibility requirements, but we're also holding the teams accountable and that's the first time we've done that. And so the sanctions start with the loss of scholarships, and that's already in effect. And indeed, starting this year, uh, we're going to up the ante, as it were. If the teams haven't repaired the problems, if the universities haven't assisted the coaches and the players in meeting their academic requirements in an appropriate way, then we're going to start making sure that not only are additional scholarships taken away, uh, practice time, and beginning to hold teams out of postseason play. Now, this isn't just for basketball and football, it's for all sports. And so if a team doesn't perform academically well, they're not going to be able to participate in postseason play. And, and for example, in basketball, that includes uh, the men's Final Four in Division I. Uh, and next year, if they still haven't repaired the problem, we're going to decertify the team, and that's a very severe penalty. What that means is that no team in the entire athletic program can participate in any postseason play if any team is so penalized. So if um, one of the minor sports teams are penalized, then basketball and football can't play, or if football turns out to have a problem, then the baseball team can't go to the College World Series. I mean, these are going to be very serious sanctions, and the presidents, too, will be ha held accountable, and they will have to personally come and speak with uh, our board of directors about it. I want them to spend money to, to support the student-athletes in their academic endeavors. And so these are good expenditures by the athletic department. When a university uh, takes a young man or young woman in and gives them a grant and aid to play sports, they undertake a certain obligation and responsibility to that young person to provide them with the best education possible. These young people are working hard at sports and also in school, but the, the institution has an obligation. Now the good news is we've been at this for about four years and we have started to change behaviors. For example, this past year we've set record numbers for graduation rates in, in all, all sports across the board. Women do better than men in general, but in all sports we've seen uh, c continuous progress on average. And I say on average on purpose because there are some teams in sports that still need improvement. Now when I go around and speak on campuses and speak to coaches and athletic programs and to student athletes, uh, they want to brag about how well they're doing academically. They want to show me the academic uh, study centers. Um, the coaches want to talk about and brag about their APR. All that is good. A few years ago, that was the last thing people wanted to talk about is how well they were doing academically. It's changed the environment for athletics uh, insofar as it takes seriously now academic progress and accomplishment. There's, there's just no question about it. Those who are interested in music, who are music majors, um, cluster in certain majors too. And those who are interested in education tend to cluster in certain majors. And those that are interested in, in the business of sports uh, may cluster in certain majors too. And those who want to be communications majors or broadcasters will cluster in certain majors. So some clustering is inevitable. Now, if I was sitting in a president's seat and I found out that there were certain majors in which athletes were clustering that didn't seem to coincide necessarily with their vocational interests, um, I would look into that. It isn't necessarily bad, but I think it is a warning sign that should alert universities to see if there are particular problems. We, we have to leave to the schools to use their best judgment of what accounts as an appropriate level of investment. Were more investments needed than in the past? I'd say yes. In fact, I, I would say, Mike, that this is a, was a neglected area of athletic investment. The value attached to affecting student-athlete academic accomplishment is very high, and I don't think enough emphasis was placed upon it in the past.